I love panna cotta. Panna cotta is like pudding if it were super, super rich, like ice cream, but not as cold as ice cream. It's luscious and rich and extremely easy to make. And I'm going to show you how in under four minutes. So we're going to start with blooming some gelatin, one and a half teaspoons of it in a half a cup of milk. You put it in there and let it sit for five minutes. And then after the five minutes are up, you put it in a pot over medium low heat. And we're going to heat it on medium low heat for two to five minutes or until the gelatin has dissolved, stirring occasionally. And then after that, you add one and a half cups of cream. So yes, three parts cream, one part milk. And to that, we add just a tablespoon of sugar. We're gonna add more sugar later in the chocolate, so it only needs a tablespoon of sugar. And this dish is much more about fat and less about sugar, which is partly why I love it. Quarter cup of chocolate chips, semi-sweet, please. And this is where I started having a little bit of a problem, and I'm gonna explain it to you and show you how to remedy that problem if you have it as well. My chocolate started seizing up a little bit on me. See those little flecks of brown in there? That is little tiny bits of chocolate that have seized up and won't melt. And if this happens to you, don't fret. Switch to a whisk and do a bunch of little tiny circles. You don't want to incorporate too much air into your mixture. This dish is not aerated like ice cream is. And keep the heat on. And as long as you don't bring the mixture to a simmer or a boil, you're okay. It will take a few minutes. You'll need to be patient. But this is a way to help break up your seized chocolate. And if you keep at it long enough, you'll get rid of most of the seized chocolate and then half a teaspoon of vanilla extract. And now my secret weapon, hazelnut extract. This is hard to find in stores, so I have an affiliate link below in the video description if you wanna buy some. I added a tablespoon of it and then I tasted it and determined from my tasting that it could do with a little bit more. So I added another teaspoon, but I think a third teaspoon totaling in one tablespoon would have been optimal in hindsight. Now all that remains is to put this into ramekins. Uh, a glass vessel would be a lot prettier, but I don't have any that were heat proof, so I just used ramekins. And a little teacup, also a little ceramic teacup. Whatever you have that is heat resistant works. And chill those. Then I'm making a cherry topping with about a cup and a half of cherries, a couple tablespoons of sugar, and a little water. Booze would be great if you have a good flavored booze like Kirsch or any kind of booze you think would be good in there, but I don't, so water's fine. Simmer that for just five minutes or so. You don't really wanna cook, cook the cherries so much. You just wanna get some of their juices out. And speaking of those juices, I separated the cherries out later and so that I could reduce that juice down to more of like a syrup consistency. We don't want, you know, juice that's gonna spill all over the place on top. We want a nice thicker syrup. So just simmer that for a few minutes, stirring until it becomes syrupy. And you'll see it kind of coats the bottom of the pot like that. Uh, and it will get even thicker when it gets cold. And we are going to chill this overnight along with the panna cottas after we fog up our camera lens. And about six hours later or overnight, preferably, you have a delicious, smooth, luscious, pudding well <laughs> it is sort of a pudding really if you think about it but it, it really is a special dish and i hope you try it it's worth every calorie and it's impressive and yet extremely easy and so versatile so definitely try it thanks for watching since this channel is small and not monetized you can best support it by subscribing and by liking commenting and sharing the videos you can also buy food and cooking items from my Amazon store to give me a cut of the profits at no extra cost to you. Also, add me on Facebook for recipes and more. Bye, food lovers!